But I want to get back to Pete Buttigieg and his comment about experience. Uh, I, Pete, you'll agree that uh, the service that we both have provided to our country as veterans by itself does not qualify us to serve as commander in chief. I think the most recent example of your inexperience in national security and foreign policy came from your recent careless statement about how you as president be willing to send our troops to Mexico to fight the cartels. As commander in chief, leader of our armed forces, I bring extensive experience serving for seven years in Congress on the Foreign Affairs Committee, on the Armed Services Committee, on the Homeland Security Committee, meeting with leaders of, of uh, countries around the world, working with military commanders of different commands, uh, dealing with high-level national security briefings, understanding what's necessary, the preparation that I've gotten to walk in on day one to serve as Commander-in-Chief. Congresswoman, thank so you. I've Mr. Merrill, I'll allow to you to that. respond. I know that it's par for the course in Washington to take remarks mm -hmm. out of context, but that is outlandish even by the standards of today's politics. Are, are you saying that you didn't say that? I was talking about U.S.-Mexico cooperation. We've been doing security cooperation with Mexico for years with law enforcement cooperation and a military relationship that could continue to be developed with training relationships, for example. Do you seriously think anybody on this stage is proposing invading Mexico? That, that's not I'm what talking I said. That's not what I said. Up, I'm talking about building said. up alliances. <laughs> and if your question is about experience, let's also talk about judgment. One of the foreign leaders you mentioned meeting was Bashar al-Assad. I have, in my experience, such as it is, whether you think it counts or not, since it wasn't accumulated in Washington, enough judgment that I would not have sat down with a murderous dictator like that. Congresswoman Gabbard, let me allow you to respond. Thank you. You were asked directly whether you would send our troops to Mexico to fight cartels, and your answer was yes. The fact checkers can check this out. No. But your point about judgment is absolutely correct. Our commander in chief does need to have good judgment. And what you've just pointed out is that you would lack the courage to meet with both adversaries and friends to ensure the peace and national security of our nation. I take the example of those leaders who have come before us, leaders like JFK, who met with Khrushchev, like Roosevelt, who met with Stalin, like, Donald like Trump, Reagan, who met. With Kim. Who met like Reagan, who met and worked with Gorbachev. These issues of national security are incredibly important. I will meet with and do what is necessary to make sure that no more of our brothers and sisters in uniform are needlessly sent into harm's way fighting regime change wars that undermine our national security. I'll bring real leadership and experience to the White House. Oh, you, I've got to respond Senator to that. Sanders, I'm going to have a original response. point. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.